What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday. I had one client this morning and now I'm getting started on this video because I'm so excited for this one. So we are doing a home decor update slash living room transformation. I have been telling you guys that this is gonna come. I've been really wanting to go ahead and incorporate more home decor in my videos for a while now because I feel like it hasn't really shown how into it I am. But now that I showed you guys last video, kind of like our renovation process, I want to show you how we're going to decorate it for now. I would describe our home decor style as mainly mid-century modern with some boho in it and a teeny tiny touch of modern farmhouse. I definitely feel like for Christmas we were overtaken by the, like, the glam mid-century modern and I really want to try and incorporate more boho. So the issue that I have with that type of like woodsy bohemian is that whenever I look up pictures on Pinterest, it's always these gorgeous like white walls with these like ivory couches and rust poofs and like all of these like super like maybe even like that brown leather couch it's so in right now which is absolutely stunning but we have a dark gray couch and light gray walls and like an ivory kind of beige-ish kind of grayish rug so this is how i'm trying to incorporate bohemian tones while still looking good with our color scheme so something i do love is gold mirrored type of furniture kind of like our bar cart that I've shown you guys a million times. So because of that, I did pick up two gold mirrored book bookcases, bookshelf, bookcases, whatever, that I want to put on either side of the TV, which I'm obsessed with. And I also wanted to get mirrors. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my home goods, Target, haul. Oh. First thing first, because we don't have that much from it, is I'm going to show you guys what I got from Target. So I love real plants and every time i go into west elm they always have these gorgeous real plants and like planters but i even though i have a dog in a house and don't feel responsible enough yet for real plants so for those of you wondering when we'll have kids if there's your answer i'm not ready for real plants yet so i'm always on the hunt for a really good looking fake plant that i feel like looks pretty real so here is the first one it's just a really pretty does it say what kind it is i don't know it's like a banana leaf but I like this a lot. This is the other one from Target. It's the same thing. I like the white and I think that these will look really good on either side without being too matchy matchy. I'm trying to go in store order just because I feel like it might be easier. So the last thing I got from Target is this beautiful reclaimed wood shelf that's gonna go right under that circular mirror. I love this. Uh, if you guys follow Melina Ciciati, I think it is, her Instagram stories and her cute little round mirror with the shelf underneath it and a plant is just amazing. It's everything that I could hope and dream for. So that is the vibe I'm going for with this guy. So if you guys remember the video of me Christmas shopping, I mentioned that I ordered something for Vinny and it took a very long time to get here. I ordered it three weeks before Christmas and it said it was gonna be like six week delivery time. So it just got delivered. I was a little worried because I read some reviews that said it didn't look that good, but Oh my God, could you freaking die? I literally, I'm so obsessed with this. So I originally got this with beautiful canvas. It's not as big as I thought, but it's so perfect. It looks so good. I'm obsessed with this. So worth the money. Crown and Paw made this. I'll link it down below. This is a little general baby. Oh my God, it's so cute. So I'm obsessed with this. I want to hang this up ASAP. So next I wanted to show you guys two home decor things that Alyssa got me for Christmas. I've been waiting for this video to set up and show you. So it's a super cute bar sign. I'm like obsessed with this and it's a little wine topper that looks like a little wine because she knows I love wine. So I think that she, she got me this for my like wine bar, my liquor cart obviously, but I kind of like the idea of putting this on my coffee bar and like maybe leaving a bottle of wine over there. I don't know, I just really wanna organize that area super cute, so we're gonna see it, but oh my God, how freaking cute. Like I could, I love that stuff. And I'm so into gold recently. So when I went to Home Goods, knowing that I want to start this video, I did film some stuff. So we're gonna rewind like a week ago and I'm gonna insert that footage here. $70. I would get it, but I don't know if this matches. Okay, this. $100. Oh 
130. This cute little small. I might get this. Finally, a gold mirror. home goods so I got some super cute stuff so first off I got some lemon soaps to replace the last Christmas decor items because there's still a few Christmas soaps lingering around next is I really want to organize my coffee bar today so I bought two different things I love the gold one more but I'm going to show you guys both of them so this is one of them so I really want to just kind of like fill them up with like little different pods and stuff I do have a confession I'm not as obsessed with Nespresso coffee as I thought I was going to be, which makes me so, so sad. But I do love the espresso. So I think today I really want to go in and organize and set up the Nespresso that we work in the same time as the Keurig. Just because I'm really disappointed that I didn't like it as much. Like, like it's a very specific taste where like Keurig, I feel like every K-cup and flavoring that you put in it will taste like that. Versus Nespresso, I just feel like it tastes like Nespresso. So I want to use that for Nespresso and the Keurig for coffee. So I'm going to organize that today. And I think this is actually the organizer that I'm going to use. I think it's so cute. So same thing. I want to fill it up with like pods. We already have a cake up like spinny thing. So I'm going to stick with that and then just fill it up with some like single made coffee creamers and all that fun stuff. Next is this plant. I thought this was so cute. I love this. It's a little tinier than the other ones, but it's black with this gorgeous gold band on the bottom with some like fake stone inside. Next is candles. Right now we still are finishing up the rest of the pine and like cranberry scented candles. So I wanted... I know I said I wasn't gonna jump right into spring stuff, and I know this is like kind of springy because it's a lot of like greenery and whatnot, but I didn't see a lot of like pine frosty stuff at Home Goods because it's after Christmas. So I'm trying not to go straight into it, but I know this is kind of springy, so. The candles that I got are these gorgeous white and pink candles. So the first one, it's so funny, ever since I started going to Home Goods like religiously like a year ago, I would never get Bed Bath & Body Wear candles again. I do that all the time, bath and body work candles again, just because I feel like they're so expensive and they taste, these smell, taste what? These smell and last as long. No English, it's fine. I know some people say candles are not good for you. I'm here for a good time, but not a long time. So this is what we're going with. But this one, oh my God, it smells so good. It's white cotton and it literally the second I opened up that lid, you smell laundry. And I love the smell of laundry. So that one that smells so freaking good and that's by Sand and Fog and this is like amazing. So this huge thing is $15. So it's not the cheapest, but like it lasts a long time. And this is Rose Ganache. And this smells so, so good. I was in the candle aisle for way too long because I just couldn't decide what smelled the best and also looks the best and was aesthetically pleasing. But I don't even know what brand this is from. Oh, DW Home, but this smells so good and it's gonna look so cute next to the other one and I like having multiple candles lit at one time and I think those would smell really good together. Next is I already had this vase from Home Goods I think but I was using it for Christmas wrapping paper and now I found these super pretty. I can't tell if I'm gonna take them out of the brown or not. I think I will. I don't know. I'll do that after I'm nervous to mess with it. It's like dried lavender and like roses and I just think it's so pretty so I'm gonna pop this in the vase and take it out of the brown wrapping paper and set set that up somewhere in the living room and to match with that I also got this beautiful dried lavender and I think some eucalyptus like leaf wreath this is also from home goods it's so freaking cute I love like the very soft touches of dusky lilac I just think that's like a super nice touch we also hung up new curtains in the living room. I know we have literally blankets to hang over for the longest time because I kept forgetting, but I finally got them. I couldn't decide between white and light pink, so I got both. So we ended up hanging up the blush pink, and then I also have the white just in case. You never know if I get sick of the pink. And for our blankets on our couch, I love our couch. I definitely, 
like if I didn't have a dog, I'd probably get like a cream colored couch and I, which I love, but in the apartment we had that and it just was not worth it with her fur. It just is way too much. So I love the couch that we have because it's a dark gray and it's easy to clean, which I clean. I still feel like I'm cleaning it all the time, but it's fine. It's definitely easier than like light colored couch. What I like to do is switch up the blankets with the season. So in the winter, like the Christmas time, it's still the winter, it's literally blizzarding outside. But in the Christmas time, I like doing more grays. And now I really want to start incorporating more of the boho neutrals, which I feel like is more cream and stuff like that. So I got this blanket from Home Goods, which I love. It's like a beautiful cream, but right now when I was grabbing it, I noticed that there was a pink stain on it, which is really annoying, so I'm going to exchange that. Hopefully they have the same one in stock because I just love this. I wanna just layer it. I think it'll be so cute. And for a new throw pillow, I just got this really nice dusty pink. So right now we had a lot of gray, a lot of like cool tones, and I wanna kind of warm it up a little bit. So I love this like dusty mauve color. This is my favorite color. Like I think my nails are this color right now. Like my hair used to be this color. Like this is just, if I was a color or an object, I think I'd be this throw pillow. So I saw this bench and I was obsessed with it. I had no idea what I was going to do with it. I don't know if it's gonna have a place in the living room right now, but if not, it would definitely go in this future office room of mine. Some people saying that maybe I should make this into like our master, or like a spare bedroom or a guest bedroom, but this is a room that's not up for, like we're not thinking about what to make this room. This room is just 100% my office. So this room is my office, no ifs, ands, or buts. Like that's kind of just it. So this would definitely look really cute in there. And the thing I was probably the most excited for is this tray. If you guys watched the footage of me and Home Goods, you'll know that I was really torn between this tray or like the banana type of tray. But I feel like this is a lot more unique. I feel like the other one kind of looks like a mix of all these three. It was like a cactus-y, banana leafy type of plant. And it was so, 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 so cute. But I feel like everyone kind of has that versus I haven't really seen this. And I just think it's so cool. I don't know where it's gonna fit in the living room. I was originally thinking where the Christmas tree was, but now that the bookshelves are there, I don't know if it's gonna look too cluttered, but we're just gonna play around and see. But yeah, this was my haul of stuff that I could show you and it's not already up already. I think we did pretty good. It is the next morning just because by the time we were completely done setting up down here and putting everything together, it was pretty late and I wanted to wait till we got some natural sunlight in here, so. Happy Sunday. I am up bright and early because I wanted to film this before I have a brunch later with my friends. So I wanted to get ready early, just kind of film this and hopefully get a kickstart in editing before I go. So let me show you guys. I am so in love with how this turned out. I like can't even deal. Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces. Yes, you did. You know it's not the way I planned. No, it's not the way I wanted. So we'll start with what's mainly the same. So we did try and move the couches, but I wasn't obsessed with the way it looked. So for the sake of this video, I just wanted to throw it back to where it was just because I feel like it does just keep the space the most open. I did switch out the gray throw blankets for some light pink ones and white ones with a blush pillow. I still haven't mastered like throwing a throw blanket over the couch where it looks super like nonchalant. So if you have any tips, please let me know. The blanket ladder is there for right now, looking pretty bare. I'm not too sure what we're gonna do with that just yet. And this plant, I kind of just threw it here because it had nowhere to go, but I don't hate it. So that's where that plant's gonna go. I think it's so cute. Like I said, I feel like I'm trying to go for the most realistic looking plants. We were going to put this in the dining room, but this wall had like a nail in it from the joy wreath. So I thought that'd be super cute to leave for right now until we blow up a canvas of maybe like our wedding pictures or something to put there instead. Oh my gosh, she's just so cute. Like me and Vinny crack up every time we look over. So I was like, why not leave it there? Heading over here, I am so obsessed with the way that this little nook came out. I originally always really wanted this kind of thing in an entryway, but since we, I'm not gonna show 
show you guys over there because it's kind of a disaster. But when we opened up the walls next to our staircase, we kind of lost the wall space that we would need for something like this. And I really wanted it to be in an area where it's a sim like somewhat cute little backdrop for pictures. So I am obsessed with this. Once again, the mirror was from Home Goods, and honestly, it was a really good price. Like. I don't know exactly how many inches it is, but I know some people's paying like a couple hundred dollars for their round mirrors, and this isn't huge, but it's definitely not the smallest either. And I wanna say it was like $50, it was super affordable. I wanted everything with that gold rim accent. The plant is from Target, and so is the shelf, but I just love this, like this is such a cute little nook. I don't know what else we're gonna put here. I'm probably gonna leave it pretty bare. Same thing, I kinda just like threw the plant on there because like, why not? But I think it is such a cute little boho corner. We might as well skip to the bookcases cause this is like the, this was the original vision for this room. I am so obsessed with the way that they came out. These were from Wayfair, and like anything from Wayfair, very annoying to put together, thank God for Vinny. But I thought they came out so freaking cute. The original ones that I found that I loved were from like Crate and Barrel for like $800 a piece, and I knew I wanted two, so these were I wanna say around $300 each, so it's really not too bad. I do wish that they were taller, so because of that, I wanted to put the plants on top. Originally I wanted these plants, but they were a little bit too tall. But that black one up there fit perfectly. I so love this black plant. Of course, it was from Home Goods, so it's gonna be like impossible to find the same one. So if anyone sees it, please let me know because I will literally pay for shipping to get it to me because I was up all night Googling where to get the exact same one to throw over there just because I feel like it is just like the cutest little like just to draw your eyes up. So, so far on the bookshelves, I just have candles. So I have the white cotton one burning that I told you guys about along with the rose ganache one and I think it is so nice and airy and just so pretty. So my vision for these shelves, I was going to try and like rush to do it for this video but then I was like that's kind of stupid just because it's going to be such like a long process of trial and error to style them the way that I want them to. So I personally love the look of built-in shelves but I actually think I kind of like this more just because I love gold mirrored accents. Like I said, I feel like everything in here, like my bar cart, like I just love that vibe. So right now I have the candles. I definitely want to get another like similar plant, at least a similar pot to go on that side. I have my eye on these gorgeous like marbly stone looking bookends from West Elm that I'm probably gonna pick up a bunch of because I just think like I'm gonna really play up that whole like stony type of like rock type of bookends vibe for this and I have so many books that I wanna get. Books to read, but then also books that are super like homey. Like I really want to get the Magnolia table from Joanna Gaines. I want to get like the home edit. I want to get, I saw something in Target called the Cozy White Cottage. So I'm going to do that ASAP and I'm probably going to include styling the shelves in a completely separate video or I'll just put it in a vlog. Uh, this plant I actually got a couple months ago. This is from Wayfair. I originally thought it was gonna be way, 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 way bigger, but it's fine because it still looks super cute and I still have the same lanterns that I did from Christmas. And then over here, this is the plant, the sun's kind of messing us up, but this is the plant that I was showing you guys, like the dried flowers. And I tried to like stretch the flowers out a little bit, but they started breaking, so I don't think I was supposed to do that. So I'm gonna kind of just let them fall on their own a little bit. I feel like I might wanna try and get a plant that looks like that. It's so hard having like a symmetrical living room because I want everything to look very cohesive without being too matchy-matchy. Like I don't want like, I love how that candle and that candle are different, but they are both candles on one of either side and they look really well and they go really well together. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about this big plant in the corner, but I actually really, really like it. I feel like it's super unique, like I was saying. I don't feel like I see it a lot and I really like the gray planter that it's in. I don't know, I just think it's a really like unique, different vibe than the same exact cactus and banana plant that I'm seeing. Not to say I'm never gonna pick up one of those and put it there, because I can, I switch up things so much. But yeah, I just think that is like such a cool plant. And it's from Home Goods, and I think it was around 130, which honestly isn't terrible, because I feel like all the fake plants that I've seen are all around 130. And I feel like it might look a little fake, just because this is a little bit of like a brighter green than the rest of like the plants that I have. But it's pretty good to me. And it's like the perfect height for this room. Uh, this bench, the one that I wasn't sure where it was gonna go from Home Goods, I actually really liked the way that it looked right there. So that's gonna go there for now. Obviously no one's gonna be like sitting over here because it's kind of like a random spot. 
but I just love bringing in like blush and gold accents to tie everything together. I am so obsessed with this mirror. Count how many times I say obsessed in this video, but I really freaking am. Vinny wasn't too sure how this was gonna look over here because he just thought it was kind of random. But I just love the idea of a big floor mirror. Obviously this is hung up just because I don't want to risk it with easily. Just the living room, just take super cute pictures. The lighting can get a little funky just because we have like a lot of windows so they're all trying to like fight for the spotlight. But I love this. This was actually from Amazon. Gold rimmed. It was prime so it came in two days which is perfect for someone like me who decides I want to film a video two days before and needs to get everything. But I just think it's like the perfect size. I originally wanted something massive. Like I saw one on Home Goods that was huge and to be honest I will probably get like a really really big one but this was perfect for the sake of this and you can see my, still see my body so it's still I'm also short so I don't know if that's saying too much but I think this is super cute the reason it's not completely centered in the wall it's like off to the side is because when it was over more you could see like the bookshelves in the back and I don't mind seeing like say like if I go like that and I wanted to be able to kind of have a clear background if I wanted to so that is the current updates for the living room. I feel like it looks a lot more cozy and put together. Vinny said the same. I feel like whenever we do some type of update, we're like, okay, now it feels like a home. And like, I feel like that feeling always kind of like wears off after a while and you want to do something else to make everything feel a lot more put together. But I definitely feel like with styling these bookshelves, it's going to be so, so, so cozy and just also less cluttered. I want to find something here to hide that wire. I will probably just have Vinny like drill a hole behind the TV to like hide it better But now we can keep the mantle super clear because we can kind of just style everything super cute on those little shelves Okay, and here is our updated coffee bar I didn't finish setting up the Keurig like I said I was going to because we got busy But we have an espresso and I got a lot of these syrups I think I got these last four from Amazon and I actually got this from home goods like in the fall and I was unsure I was going to taste and it was actually delicious. So these are all of our syrups and pumps. So I got everything except for this from Amazon. These are just really cute mason jars with straws, like with like the little, for when I wanted to make my own like iced coffees and iced doppio espressos that were also from Amazon and those are super cute and I'm trying not to be as bad with you like the, with like the travel cups that you throw out because I'm trying to be a little bit more less waste. This is the finished result of the cute little gold organizer. So I just have a bunch of espresso pods and a regular coffee pod in there along with like the little single mate coffee mates that I try when I'm being healthy because I won't measure my creamer. If it's in a big thing like this, I won't measure it. These are a lot easier just to put like one or two in a coffee and, and know exactly how many calories you're drinking because I drink all my calories. The Keurig looks exactly the same. And then this is our little tray for like kind of like a run out the door thing. So I have the cute little bar thing that Alyssa got me. I have a cute little ring dish that I always throw my rings in when I'm doing dishes and whatnot. I have a couple candles, Vinny's cologne, which I use. I don't really wear perfume, I wear colognes. I like stealing his stuff and smelling like him. I've done that since we started dating. Uh, Vinny was super sick. So I have the hauls, I have a little lash brush and a chapstick. So just a cute little set up to go out and go. We'll throw the keys there until I can move them over to our little welcome sign and yeah. So yeah, that is our home decor update slash living room transformation. 
like I've said a million times this video, I'm so obsessed with the way that everything's coming out. I love kind of incorporating more of the boho vibe in it. So some of the updates that we might do is we might end up moving the couches if I could find a way that I like it more. And because I'm crazy, I already want a new ottoman. West Elm actually has an ottoman that matches the couches. I don't know if I'd get the same exact shade, but it's gorgeous. It's like a big square with like the gold brass legs. So that might be coming soon because I feel like this tufted ottoman, while it's gorgeous and a super good, like big affordable staple from Wayfair, I feel like it's not exactly going with the boho vibe and it's definitely a lot more like modern traditional. But I don't know when that's going to happen, but as always, I will keep you guys updated. Our video schedule as of right now is still around once a week, never more than a week. So let me guys know if there's anything else that you guys would like to see. I know that you guys love the videos of bringing you guys to work, but I want to do a, like a different editing style. So I think I'm actually gonna have Sam Rue follow me to work one day and she's going to help me film a more in-depth type of tutorial, not really tutorial, but like more of like a kind of like how it is to get a full service done with one of my clients that's super chill and won't mind being filmed. Vinny and Beasley are still sleeping, but I hear them now, so they're going to be coming down and I have to wrap my friend's present in Christmas wrapping paper because the brunch is for Secret Santa that we're just doing now, so it's fine. Uh, any other updates? Um, I have a busy next couple of weeks, but there's gonna be some super fun videos coming up that I'm super excited for. Uh, some surprises I don't wanna mention, but also we are going to be going into the city for a couple days for Alyssa's birthday. I don't think I'm going to film or vlog while we're there but I am going to be filming videos of packing and kind of getting ready for a fun little girls week weekend in the city if you are a new subscriber thank you so so much for subscribing my name is Abby I am at 24 I vlog a lot of my life in me and my husband's new house with our dog and I film my days at work I do hair and just a whole bunch of other fun stuff going on so on that note I'm gonna go get dressed and wrap my present for my friends so thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye I got so much to say Never thought it would end this way I've had so many thoughts spinning in my head I wanna right my wrongs Never thought they would do such harm You got so